Hey guys, it's Kat. And I have a problem. I am a goo hoarder. You're probably thinking, what is a goo hoarder? Well, it does exactly what it says on the tin. You hoard goo. Like literally, not even kidding, I've just piled it all into a section of my room. It's ridiculous, it shouldn't even be that big, but like, look, I've got one, two, three freedom things, and they're really good, but it's not even like I've got one and I've just started to use it. All three of them are opened and part used. I didn't even wait to finish the last one before I opened a new one. Why? And you're probably thinking, well, that's not that bad. If, really big if, if you use one, finish it, throw it away and open the next one. Oh, but no, not me. I open all of them, use part of all of them, don't finish them, leave them about half full and go and buy more. What is the sense in that? For example, this week, without even needing to, just simply because it was an offer, I bought one of these. Now, did I need it? No. Did I want it? Yeah, so I bought it. I have about a thousand other shower gels, but because this was an offer, I got a big tub of it. Why? Because I am a goo hoarder. I mean, it's gotten to the point now where it's actually ridiculous. I mean, how much shower gel does one person need? Not as much as I've got. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and that's not even including the box that I haven't even opened yet. And it wouldn't be that bad if, say, you used one, you finished it, you threw it away, and then you open the next one. But do I do that? No. I start them all, I use a little bit of all of them, maybe get a quarter of the way down, and open the next one, and then put the other one back in the box. I have, like, a bazillion of them, I don't need that many, but I keep them all, I don't even use them half the time, I even just go and buy another one, like I did this weekend, and I bought this one, just so, because I like the smell, I mean, I've used it today, but by the time next week comes around, I've probably got another one, and I'm going to use that one instead, it doesn't make any sense, you don't even get me started on foundation, I mean, there's seven here out of one makeup bag, and I don't even use half of these. There's maybe this one I use occasionally, but the other ones that I actually use are in another makeup bag. So why do I have these ones? I don't know, but somehow I do, and they're all part used. Some of them are in the wrong shade, and they make me look like an Oompa Loompa, but I still don't throw them away. Another big problem is, I'm always conscious that I smell bad, so I excessively buy products to make me smell good. I mean, one, two, three, four, these are all the same, five, six, seven, eight, these are all the same too, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, these are all just sprays, thirteen, fourteen, got two cans of these, so fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Now I have four of these, this one is full, this one has got a tiny little bit left at the bottom, this one's got a tiny bit left at the bottom, and this one's about two thirds up. Why? Why can't I just finish one of those, throw it away and open another one? Why do I have to open all four of them at the same time? And then because one face mask isn't good enough, I have three. I have this one, and this one, and this one. Why do I need all three? And I've got more dotted around other places, so I should be able to dig them out because they're buried somewhere somewhere underneath everything. I don't need three face masks. Granted, they all read slightly differently and they do slightly different things, but at the end of the day, they're a face mask and it's going to do what a face mask does. And then because one product to make your hair stay in place isn't enough, I have hairspray, mousse, another brand of mousse, heat protection spray, a different heat protection spray, freeze spray, and gel spray. And if you speak to most people and you say, oh, I'm a goo hoarder, they'll turn around and go, oh, what, so you hoard lip gloss? Because most people think of goo straight away as lip gloss. And I actually don't really hoard lip gloss. I mean, this is my collection of lip gloss in its entirety. There's not that many. Most people have way more than one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I have more shower gels than that. I have more sprays than that. And they're all actually
vastly different shades and colours, so it's kind of justifiable. But everything else, no, it's not justifiable. I don't need 12 different types of things to hold my hair in place. I think hairspray is perfectly good enough, and to be honest, I don't really even use free spray. Okay guys, so the moral of the story is, I'm a goo hoarder, and I'm probably going to end up being buried in all this stuff I have, unless I clean up my act. So why make this video? To raise awareness of goo hoarding, not. To try and shame myself into sorting it out. To use and finish one shower gel and then open another and not to buy any more until you're needing to buy some more. I'm going to shame myself into sorting myself out with this and I'm going to take back like half of my room that this stuff has been covered in. So if you have the same problem, please give it a thumbs up. And comment down if you have a similar thing, but you're a lip gloss hoarder or a perfume hoarder or something like that. Don't forget to subscribe down below, and I will see you next week with another video. Look at it. Who needs this much? No one. No one. But I have it. No! I need to sort my life out.